Trooper Proctor, you were notified. I am not Trooper Proctor. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Uh, Sergeant Buchnick. I Sergeant Buchanick. How do I say it? Buchanick. <laughs> I'll give that Can't. a shot. It's fine. <laughs> Buchanick? Yes. Is that better? That's better. Thank you. Did the Trooper Proctor make you aware of uh, conversations that he had had with other people prior to getting to the Kent Police Station? Objection. No, I'll allow that. It's a yes or no. Yes, I did. Did the Trooper Proctor make you aware of uh, conversations that he had had with other people prior to getting to the Kent Police Station? Objection. No, I'll allow that. Very good. He relayed some information to you as well? That's correct. No, I'll allow that. That's correct. Um, at some point, did you learn the name of the, uh, the body or the person that was found on the lawn on, on Fairview Road? Yes, I did. And uh, in reference uh, to where Mr. O'Keefe's body was at that point, uh, what, if any, information did you receive about that? Objection. I'll allow that. And in reference to the Good Samaritan Hospital in Brockton, who, if anyone else, were you told had been taken to that facility as well in relation to, to uh, your response that morning? Objection. I'll allow that. The defendant. How are bags or boxes of, of items of evidentiary value, how are they sealed? Once the bag is... I'll allow it. I'll what? allow it. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, when they were um, taped and sealed, uh, what were each of those... What happened with each of those items once they were taken back to, to your office? Objection. I'll allow it. Each item that was sealed, it was processed in, it was logged in, and then it was stored after processing. It was stored... Uh, in the evidence room. Um, have you been privy to information as far as medical findings, autopsy reports, things of that nature in relation to those prior investigations? Yes, sir, I have been. Now, with regard to your observations of Mr. O'Keefe, uh, with regard to his eyelids, um, what, if any, what if any observations did you make and, and what if any, um, well, let me start just with physical observations. What, if any, physical observations did you make of Mr. O'Keefe's face and, and body in general? His face, I observed the swelling and the discoloration uh, being produced through the, uh, the blood pooling in the eyelids. Yep, so just, just your observation, so the swelling and discoloration. Move to strike. I'll strike the, the remainder of what you've said. I also observed a um, cut to his uh, nostril and an eyelid, which was very small in size, which would have been produced by a- Objection. Yeah, so we'll leave it at that. Next question, Mr. Lally. Based on uh, your training experience, what if any uh, conclusions or what if any opinions that you have in regard to the swelling around the eyes? Objection. Yeah, I'll see you at sidebar here. <laughs> Is that correct? Objection. I think that was the testimony, but ask it differently. Uh, as far as that drink during that portion, uh, is that drink number six or drink number seven? If you... Objection. Yeah, in that form, I'll sustain it. At this point in time in the video, after watching what you've watched, how many drinks has the defendant consumed at this point? At this point, she's consumed or is in possession of... Objection. I'll allow it. Six drinks. As far as... Um, do you know how those cameras work as far as when they turn on and, and when they turn off? My understanding is that ring surveillance video is triggered to be recorded through motion. So if the camera detects motion, which is constantly live monitoring, and motion is detected, then that video is captured to a cloud-based system that retains that footage. On hearing that statement, what, if anything, uh, did you do? I advised the defendant not to further speak. Objection. I'll allow that. 